Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen, and today is the Mystery Box Challenge. It's hosted by Courtney from Creative on the Cheap. We do this every other month, so a bunch of us YouTubers get together and we send each other mystery boxes. This month is Dollar Tree items. So we just went to Dollar Tree, bought a few items, seven to 10 items normally, put them in a box and ship them to whoever that we, whoever we have to. Uh, if you guys want to know who I sent my box to, it is Wendy from a White Sparrow Living. I love, love Wendy so much. So make sure when you're done watching this video, you go and check out to see what I sent her. And Kelly Barlow sent me mine. So uh, I sent her box to her last month. Uh, and I went pretty easy on her, so hopefully she kind of did the same for me. So let's open the box. First thing here is a card. And this is so cute. Okay. Um, my hope is that these items bring you some inspiration and that you create something amazing. But more importantly, I hope you have fun with them. Hugs, Kelly. Um, okay, it says Cre creativity is seeing what others see and thinking what no one else Ever thought Albert Einstein oh that's so cool but seriously I'm gonna just show this if this is how you write all the time my handwriting is so terrible this is like beautiful this looks like something that was printed on like your Cricut machine like it is it is so good so did I need to know is this your handwriting or is this Cricut because that's incredible okay Let's see here. Okay, I hear like some bells or something in here. I am going to start with the mystery items because it is always kind of, usually I open the challenge items first. So we're gonna open challenge items first. This feels oh, like a pan or something. So we're gonna just see. Okay, so I have a tinfoil pan, a sheet, tinfoil sheet. Okay, that's, um, okay, I actually, okay, okay. Uh, it's not the worst thing I've ever received. And then, uh, challenge, oh, this, that was challenge item two. Here is number one, and it's clay. Okay, this isn't gonna be, okay, actually, I have like two things I do not like touching. Yarn and clay. Clay is definitely like, I, it feels like Play-Doh, and Play-Doh grosses me out too. So, um, okay, so this, these two items I have to use. And I kind of have an idea already. That's kind of exciting. All right, let's see what else. This is like my box, obviously. Um, okay, so I received this snowman like figure or this like snowman wood piece figure. This is cool. This is cool. It's Christmas. I'm doing Christmas, so that is awesome. Oh, this, this is cute. A mini bell garland. That's what I heard. That is really cute. I've never seen those. I have a DIY 3D craft kit. So it looks like there's like a little house in here, candy canes, presents, some trees. That is also super cute. One of these little windows. Those are always fun to use. These, I love these. I saw these at my Dollar Tree too. And these are so cute. And these could be for like year round if you really love farmhouse or Christmas. Or whenever we have some craft sticks ribbon which I love that ribbon it's like a buffalo check maybe a gingham and like a snowflake doesn't wanna there we go that is so cute and then we have a little wooden sled okay that box is actually really great I am super excited to be doing this so let's go First DIY, I'm starting off using this little window frame and this DIY 3D craft kit. And I'm going to be starting out by painting these pine trees. So I'm using the Christmas tree paint by Apple Barrel. And then I'm going to be using the, I think this is Truffle by Waverly. And then I'm just going to go in with some Waverly chalk paint for the snow at the bottom of these trees. 
And then I also decided to do the candy canes and paint those as well. I did not use everything in this craft kit. Uh, I was trying to decide on what exactly I was going to do with this once I was done. But when I kind of seen that window, I was like, I have a really fun idea for this. So using Arteza paint markers, I love these. They're acrylic markers. I will link them down below, but I love pretty much everything Arteza ever has to offer. I really love their products. Uh, and I'm just using uh, the red and the white for the candy canes. Now, once this was done, I decided to grab some fabric paint. I love fabric paint. I think it's really fun to use. I think it's more fun to use during Christmas time because you're going to make some faux snow with it. You can decorate gingerbreads with it. The possibilities are endless with fabric glue. This one is the Tulip brand and this one actually came from a Dollar Tree. I had the Arteza brand as well and I started to run out of the white so I had to use this but this one worked out really well. It does take some time to dry so if you don't like the dry time you could always try to use uh, colored glue sticks. I have used colored glue sticks, but I do find it, it is so stringy. It is just hard to use. So anyways, once that is done, I just glued that candy cane right to the front. And I did that because once you ripped off that little family sign, it does leave that really awful looking uh, glue. Flipped it over and then I glued those trees to the back side and this scrapbook paper is from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to be gluing that to the back side as well. And you have just a really cute little window pane for Christmas. I think this turned out so stinking cute. DIY, I'm throwing in a thrifted sign. This was $1 and I love picking things up from yard sales. I always have tons of signs and frames and all kinds of things like that in my craft room, in my garage. I have this stuff absolutely everywhere. I'm using that little snowman kit and I'm just going to be using the head, using some Waverly chalk paint in white and then those wooden letters that I showed, those are actually from Michael's. I know you can pick up wooden letters from Dollar Tree, but I like that you get more than just one one letter. I think they run about like $11 or something like that. But if you need like four or five or six A's, I think they're, I think there's either six to eight of A's and E's and I's and all the vowels. So you don't actually run out and have to buy like a ton of different, uh, a ton of different packages. So painting the hat, I'm using some fabric paint once again. Like I said, I just really like using this stuff. It's pretty fun. And I honestly don't really know when else I whatever use it, but I'm just kind of tracing the eyes and the mouth and the nose on this one. Uh, so I'm not doing anything like too crazy. I'm just kind of tracing over that. I'd say the lines, uh, definitely the lines uh, that was given to me with this little wood kit anyways. So using those fabric colors once again, and this orange for his nose. To finish with the fabric paint, I'm just going to be adding some snow to the snowman's hat. And I think this just gives it more detail. So I think it looks way more better than if I wouldn't have added any type of snow. So I had it kind of dripping off his hat or like it was little icicles uh, because snowmen do stay out in the wintertime. Sometimes icicles appear when it's that cold. So if you live where I live uh, or live where there's winter and it gets below zero, there we go. Uh, I did use that ribbon from my uh, mystery box and I just glued it to the top of his hat or the middle of his hat really. And then I'm just using that scrap of paper once again from Hobby Lobby. This is what it looks like. And then I'm just using a poinsettia. Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of like into that like primitive look right now. I love this like vintage feel. It's a vintage scrapbook paper kit, of course. Uh, and then the piece was not long enough, so I did just have to kind of piece it out together. And then I'm using the wooden letters from Michael's to type out or write out, not typing, writing, gluing wooden pieces to, it's going to say let it snow. Then I'm going to be gluing that snowman to the bottom.
That is a snowman without a scarf. I also kind of wanted to cover up that little hole at the bottom of the snowman. So I'm just grabbing some more of that ribbon and I'm gonna be making a scarf for the snowman. So now on to my challenge items. I also didn't say in the beginning of this video, but if you've already watched other mystery box videos, you know that we also have to have a twist in every single one of these videos. So I have to use clothespins with pipe cleaners. I forgot what those are called, pipe cleaners uh, in a video. So you're gonna see later on, I use those as well. So uh, for these challenge items, I'm using clay and I'm making some cute little gingerbreads. So I just had a little cookie cutter and I cut out a few different gingerbreads. I did not use all the clay. As you could see, like earlier, my hands were disgusting. I do not like the feel of clay. So this was, this was definitely a challenge for me because I was just so grossed out. I had to clean the kitchen. I had to clean all this up like immediately because it was just not fun. But these gingerbreads actually look really cute. And I think that this uh, clay is like the exact color you will need to make gingerbreads. So once those are done, I just put them on a plate, waited overnight for them to dry. And I had some issues with it cracking. I don't know if it's all air dry clay or just a Dollar Tree clay, but I had cracking issues. So I was trying to use that tin foil piece and like make designs on the gingerbreads and it was that was just not working out. So I had to go to like plan B and I'm like, what else can I do? And then as I was setting these on there, I'm like, oh my gosh, I could make a tray, like a little gingerbread tray with this. And I thought that was like such a fun, like a cute little idea. I did end up painting that tin foil or that tin foil tray. It has to be a tin foil tray. I ended up painting that white just because I wanted to bring out the gingerbread just a little bit more without getting lost in the glare of the tray. But I started decorating the gingerbreads with that fabric paint once again, and I just made them pretty cute. I did cut this down to size just so the gingerbread would fit on here, and I think this turned out super cute. Thing I'm using out of the box is this cute little sled. I have not seen these at my Dollar Trees yet, but I think I, they had them last year. Uh, but I'm just using the Waverly chalk paint in crimson to paint the sled, and then I'm gonna go around the runners of the sled and I'm gonna be painting those with the Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. I decided to go ahead and dry brush the sled. So I'm just lightly painting on some white on the red and also the black. So the painting was done. I just had some of these leftover ornaments from last year. And if you're new to my channel, hi, I am so excited you decided to stop by and check it out. But I will be using a ton of last year's decor and crafts. So if you guys need some inspiration to use up your Christmas stash, I had four totes in a giant garbage bag 
full of items to use this year. So I'm using a ton of stuff from last year. Uh, I just added a bow to this with that ribbon from my box along with that little wreath. I thought a bell would look super cute in the center of the ribbon and that is it for this. one I'll be using this chalkboard sign. Anytime I see chalkboard signs, I feel the need that I have to use my Chalk Couture silkscreen transfers. I'm just using the bright white chalk paste in this snuggle weather transfer. And I will link Chalk Couture too in the description box if you guys want to check it out. I love using silkscreen transfers. I think it makes everything look so high end and just so perfect. And if you don't like using regular stencils, like I do not, uh, I think this is a really fun way to actually use a stencil, but always having some really great uh, turnouts in the end. Uh, so this one is Snuggle Weather. I have this Arteza glitter, and I know glitter is not something that everyone wants on their things, but I thought this glitter was super pretty. So I decided to add it to the Snuggle Weather sign and then just kind of dust it off. And you have a cute little sign. You could add this to a tier tray or a shelf. I think this turned out so cute. I'm going to be using those clothespins and those pipe cleaners. So I'm making a clothespin wreath. I've never made one of these before, but I've seen them on Pinterest and I was like, I have got to make one of those. They are so cute. And I had a ton of clothespins. Uh, this did take just over a bag. So you'd have to grab two bags from the Dollar Tree, but you're just kind of um, clipping the clothespin onto the bottom two and then the middle and the third. So one and two, two and three, if that makes sense. This is what it looks like. Uh, I actually looked at a picture on Pinterest while I was doing this. So if you need some help, Pinterest is sometimes your best friend. So this is what it looks like. And I was like, I need to spray paint this. So I'm using this gloss red color. This came from my hardware store. Uh, I did not want to drive far to Walmart or Menards or Lowe's or anything like that to grab spray paint. So my local hardware store works just fine for me. And I only needed one coat of spray paint. I did flip it over and spray both sides because it was necessary and it was really needed. I had this cute little sign. This is from Walmart. I think it was three or $4. This Merry Christmas ornament sign. This is from Hobby Lobby. And when it is 50% off, it is only $1.50. So I just glued the Merry Christmas right to the center of the sign. Now, once that was done, I just decided to hang it on the wreath just like so. So in case I did want to reuse that Merry Christmas sign, I totally could do that. I do like reusing a lot of my crafts because I make so many. So these pipe cleaners also came from Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99, 50% off. And I just took five of them and just kind of uh, wrapped them together just to make a cute little bow. And then I'm going to be adding some greenery and some just other embellishments to the top of this to make this a really cute wreath. But I'm not a big pipe cleaner fan, so I did not have any actually in stock. So I had to go buy some from Hobby Lobby, but they're cheaper than Dollar Tree. So if you need pipe cleaners, hit up Dollar Tree. I'm using some boxwood greenery. I'm using some berries left over from last year. This is actually all last year except these pipe cleaners. Uh, and then I'm also going to be using some snowflakes. The snowflakes were off of a piece that I got from Joann's. It was like a ton of florals and they had some really fun snowflakes. So I just had some of those cut. So I added one to the center and I did add one around the Mary just because the Merry Christmas seemed just a little, a little sad. It didn't seem to blend very well. So snowflakes on each of those and that is it. But you guys, that is it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out Wendy's video so you guys can see what I sent her. But that is it. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.